כן. אביטל קירשט בוכשטוב. אביטל קירשט בוכשטוב. אמא שלי יגב. The mother of Rimon. לצידה אסתר בוכשטוב, אמא שלי יגב. And next to her, אסתר יוגב's mom. שלום, אני אביטל קירשט. שלום, אמא אביטל קירשט, mom's of Rimon. אני אסתר בוכשטוב, mom of Yogev. שנמצאת עכשיו בשבי עם יגב בעלה. I would like to say to Rimon and to Yogev that our hostages, soon you're going to be home. We'll do everything to return you home. Very quickly. I don't wish any mom to go through what we are going through in the last 24 days. I saw the video today and I'm very concerned. Rimon didn't have her glasses. 24 hours. days she cannot see. She needs her glasses. Her glasses. We, they need to get medical care and essentials immediately. I can't believe there's one person in Qatar or around the world that believe that citizens should be hostages by Hamas underground. We are asking from the Prime Minister and the Defense Minister to make the world shake, that the whole world will know what happened to our families and all the hostages. These are crimes against humanity. These crimes against kids, elderly, children, and are unforgiven. In addition, all the families would like to thank the citizens for all the strength you give us. Don't leave us. Don't leave, leave us alone for a minute. Support us, strengthen us until all the hostages are coming back. We are really, would like everybody to know that we want everybody back. I would like to call Neta Alon and Shachar Kohn the family of Trufnov. I'm Neta and this is Shachar. We are friends of Sasha, the son of Yelena that is on the video. We're happy to see Yelena is alive. And Sasha and Sapir are there. Trupanov family disappeared. The father murdered and the rest are in the abductees by the Hamas. 24 days and we are still waiting for them. I'm going to uh, do this in English. I wish to address the international community. Hello, my name is Shahar. I'm here representing the Trupanov family. Sasha and I met in a college and have been friends ever since. Sasha finished at the top of our class. He is, a such, he is a such a brilliant guy. Now he works as an engineer at Amazon. I'm standing here today because the entire family, three generations, were either kidnapped or murdered. There is no one else to speak for them. Vitali. זיכרונו לרווחה, סשה, ספיר, לנה, אירנה. Today we saw a video on a telegram where Elena, Sasha's mom, is seen alive. This is our first proof of life that we are so happy that Lena is alive. We urge the Red Cross to conduct a medical check to Lena immediately. At the same time, there are still 239 people that are being held hostage by Hamas in the Gaza right now. They have been hostage since Saturday, October 7th. 24 days have already passed. How is that possible? How are they not free? No other country, no other country in the world would settle for this. What if this were, were your citizen? What if there were your friends? 
What if the entire family in the house next door to you had been taken hostage into Gaza? What would you do? As both an Israeli and an American citizen, I am personally asking you, President Biden, please do any and everything in your power to bring everyone home now. Taking civilian hostage is a crime against, against humanity. And to you, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad, know that you can be the key to preventing greater loss of life and regional distress. And to you, citizen of the world, you can help to stand up, speak out, demand action, appeal to our shared humanity, remind leaders that are not just hostages. They are beloved grandmother, fathers, sisters, and children. Real people with beating hearts waiting to be free. Time is running, time is running out, but it's not too late to save life. Have courage. Together, our voice can bring them all home now. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. No questions today.